Hey everybody, Alan with the Reby Homes team here and I'm with Greg with Falcon Property Inspections and we're going to be talking about garage door safety and maintenance. Stay tuned. So there are two tests to perform when it comes to garage door safety. One of them is for the I-beam sensors, which should be placed within six inches, two to six inches of the garage slab to prevent against the door from coming down on a child, small dog, or an object and being able to reverse back up if something comes in front of the beam. And as you can see, our handy wood block has been marked exactly with six inches to test whether or not the sensor is at the appropriate height, which it is. And the second test that we're going to perform is whether or not the door can come down and safely reverse off of a hard object, whether that be a car or a person or anything in general. For safety purposes, the door should bounce back up after uh, making contact with an object. You can check out the Door and Systems uh, Manufacturing Association for specifics as it relates to um, priorities with garage door maintenance and safety. Okay, Greg, so what's that tell us? So that tells us that the door is operating safely, and now we're going to talk about general garage door maintenance as well. It's important to have a manual release for emergency purposes on the garage door. As you can see here, the red handle, which should be here, has actually been removed because on doors where there are uh, glass panels, we've had a lot of clients that have told us about um, potential security risk with uh, burglars actually hooking a hanger around this and uh, getting into people's homes uh, through accessing the, the handle that's there. So by removing the handle, um, you're, you're actually uh, reducing the likelihood of a security breach, but uh, can still uh, pull the door for, for a manual release purpose. And from a, a maintenance standpoint, you want to have a 7 16 inch nut driver and just a generic dry lube spray. All of the moving components of the door, the rollers, anything moving, um, should have a dry lube spray applied and once a year you want to take a 7 16 inch nut driver and you want to do about a quarter turn this one's already been done but you want to do a, a, a turn on this guy and tighten up all uh, components to make sure that the door is staying really solid this is really the number one area of the house that's used daily in and out um, and doesn't see the necessary amount of um, preventative maintenance to make sure that it holds up over the life of the home.